Hey everybody, so I'm going to be making another loaded pocket. This is going to be from scratch. It's been a while, so I don't even remember what I'm going to be doing here. But um, I am using this kit that I found at Tuesday morning a few months ago, I think. Um, there's that in case they still have it. I haven't seen any Halloween stuff at my Tuesday morning. But this is the kit that I'm using for all my projects for now this particular little set of projects. I just cut out some bows with, um, hold on. <clears throat> Which one is it? This is Sizzix and it's just called Bows. I had this for definitely over a year from Sizzix. There's a number. Hopefully it focuses. I should wear my glasses. It's 658541. So, I made a few bows with this paper. Um, I'll probably make some more. I want to make like a little set. And I'm going to be doing more things for this particular pocket. And I'm probably going to do two loaded pockets. One with this kit, one with another kit. Just to use up the kits that I purchased. Because, you know, I haven't touched this set. And um, I do have a tutorial out there. I'll look for it in case this doesn't work out as I'm recording. Because, again, I haven't made this from scratch in a long time. Um, I'm just cutting off the border here. And I replaced the blade on this thing. But it seems like I have to push harder. I don't know why. Unless it's not the new blade. I, maybe I put the old one back in there. <laughs> the old one was just ripping up my paper. So... I have a 12 by 12 here, and now, what's under here, something is, now it's a matter of figuring out what I gotta do, because I don't remember. I'm pretty sure, I'm going to be doing some scoring, I think I'm going to make bigger, um, Let's just, I think I want, after I've done my score marks here, I'm just kind of guesstimating. I'm not going all the way down how I'm going to be doing this. So this is going to fall. Okay. So we've got one, two, three half inch marks. So that's one, two, oops. I think I'm going to cut this in half. No, I still need more. Eight inches. I want like a six inch pocket. I think. No, that seems like it's too much. I think a five inch pocket. So this is five inches here and then half inch. So, yeah, now I remember. Okay, so it was 8 inches. I'm going to cut that off. See, I just guesstimate things. Um, but I'm actually doing a little bit different. I'm making my gusset folds a little larger than usual. So, 8 inches. And then tall do I want this to be? It'll be a square. I'm going to do it 9 inches tall seems like a lot. Oh no, it's a 6 inch width, so let's do let me see. I'm just trying to figure out how tall I want my pocket to be. I think eight inches would be good. So we're going to give it an extra half inch. So I'm going to cut it at eight and a half. This way I have a flap on the bottom that I'm going to adhere my other paper to cover the front because it's going to be two pieces. Okay, so now it's an eight by eight and a half piece of cardstock that I am using. And I'm going to score it um, one, two, 
three times at the half inch mark. So every half inch, just three scores. That would bring, and then on this side, I'm going to start from the end here. So one at each half inch mark, two, and three. And then on the bottom, I'm going to score just at the half inch at the end on the bottom. All right, and it's going to be hard to see on that side. So let's let me show you on this side here. I don't know if you'll see the score marks, but there's one, two, three, and then the one going here. We're going to cut off this little area here, and I'm going to show you what it looks like before I <clears throat> cut up. That's not my scissors. Before I cut up everything. So I'm going to cut not at right on the line, just slightly at an angle in. And then same thing on the other side. And then over here. And here. Okay, so we just cut the little pieces out. And this part is going to fold up. You're going to glue another piece over here. And then these two ends you're going to fold inwards out and in you always have to make sure that you end up with one piece that goes in this is the part you're going to adhere to your other the front cover okay so this is going to give me a nice little gusset so usually i do like quarter marks i decided to do just you know a couple of thick marks this time i don't normally do that but i just thought i would oops did it wrong already so in out and in again the main thing is that you got to end off with one that is going inside that's where you put your piece and this part here you're going to adhere and it's going to go over and you just glue it off okay so that's my back or it could end up being your front whatever not any other piece of paper because yeah and again this is a eight inch by five inch um, so if you're using scraps I have these that I had cut up from the bows so this will work out nicely and that's let's see what we got here I really don't like this green so you'll, you'll see the green when I do my little curls because I'm going to open it up but I kind of like this for the outside so we're just going to go ahead and cut a five by eight piece out of here okay. so I don't like the way this new blade is working five by eight all right I don't need to fold anything, but I do need to glue next. And I'm going to be adding a pocket to this. All right, so I'm going to use my bone folder. Let's get it down. I guess I am kind of remembering what to do here. The only difference is the width of my this part here. Okay. So I like to use wet glue, but you could use any adhesive that you want. You could use a glue runner. But being here in hot Florida and humid, actually, the humidity is the main part that kind of ruins things. So we're going to start with the bottom flap first. And I got my napkin over here. And I'm going to do it like this. And make sure it's all lined up before it dries. Oh gosh, everything is moving around. What the heck? Okay, I think I think we're good. I have to put a little more glue down because it moved. Okay, let me make sure this one's down. So now we're going to 
this should open up. We're going to glue these two parts here. You don't want to get too thick because you don't want it to come on the inside. But you do want to make sure it goes to the edge. Alright, and then we're going to bring those down. I'm just trying to make sure it's in. You might see a little couple of paws passing by because I see Haley's on my table already. Okay, I think we are good. It didn't stick. So there's the beginning of our pocket. Okay, now we're going to add our little pocket over here and again the I'm going to be cutting here and rolling these like a little collar and you're going to see the green which is fine I don't love the green but I don't mind a touch of it um, so we're going to use another paper and I hate cutting into something new so I'm going to use this one here and I won't be showing the inside of this so I don't care that it looks like that and we're going to cut that down to, let's see, I want it like maybe a three inch pocket. So three plus a half inch for a little flap. Um, this way, let's go this way. Three inches plus a half inch for the little flap. So we're going to do three and a half. Um, this is six inches. I need eight inches in width. I'm going to need an 8 inch width, so, huh, uh, 8 inches, let me do this, I'm confusing myself, okay, so I'm going to cut here, 8 inches, maybe this piece, by what, 3 and a half, okay, so the, oops, I have to make those folds again so that I have a pocket that opens up with the gusset. All right, I think I did it right. I might have not cut that. For some reason, this doesn't feel like it's three inches. Nope. What did I do? Oh no, maybe it is. Yeah. We'll see, we'll check it out. Maybe I want a taller pocket. So I'm going to score at the 3 inch mark, it gives me that little half inch here, and then we're going to score again at a half an inch three times, half inch, half inch, half inch, same thing on this side, three times, half inch, half inch, half inch, we're going to cut it again like we did last time at a little angle, cut off those pieces, I guess it would be okay this 3 inch, um, pocket and okay let's get this out of the way I don't think I need to score anything else all right so I'm gonna fold up and then fold in out and in always ending with the flap going in. All right, so let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's good. I think I usually make like a four inch fall, but I'm gonna be cutting here and I'm not gonna put too much in that pocket. Um, you can always put a pocket in the back too, but I'm not gonna do that. I always leave it flat. Um, you can actually do a flat pocket. Just do it flat. I've done it where they're at an angle, so you got a little something to tuck in there. Should I do that? Nah. Oh, my stomach is growling. <laughs> I 
I really don't want to cover all that up. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere this same way that we did before. Um, I'm going to put the glue on this and then place it. So let's do that. This is nice thick paper too, so... Alright. What I'll do is this first. And then flip it over. Make sure it's down and then the flaps okay okay so that's pretty much the gist of it. All right, so you don't have to take it any further. You've already got yourself a pocket here and a pocket over here. Okay, and there's the back. And again, you can add more pockets if you want. Um, so my next step is I'm going to be cutting this here and curling my, what you call it, making it look like a collar sort of. So this was what, six inches was it? No, it was five inches. So about, I'm going to go in about two and a half inches. And I don't normally measure, but I kind of want it even. So I'm just going to make a couple of marks. Hopefully I could see it with the pencil. Yeah, I could see it. I'm going to do one up there and one down a little further. Let's see how far do I want to split it. Maybe down to here. So I'm just marking it two and a half. And then we're going to cut straight down there we go and I'm just going to grab some kind of tool to help me roll this and I just I don't want it to be like a flat ball so right now I'm just kind of manipulating the paper so the fibers break down and I can roll it and eventually I'll probably just hot glue the tip so they don't come back up you can wet your paper a little bit and then do that and it'll stay. I don't bother with that. Usually they stay on their own. Alright, so now I'm just going to do this. And now you got the green peeking out. And it's not so much green because it wasn't my favorite anyway, but a little bit is fine. And then this side. Again, just getting it started before I do that because it could crease. I can get a hold of this. Alright, so for now I'm going to leave it like that, but you get the idea. I don't know how decorated I'm going to do this, but I've been known to really heavily decorate my pockets. Okay, so now you see like all these patterns going on, which is cool. And that's pretty much it. So now it's decorating and filling. So that is the first part to this video. Okay, you guys, so we're going to <clears throat> excuse me, decorate a little bit. So I decided to pull out my um, crepe paper streamers that... I think I got most of these at the Dollar Tree, except for this one I think I got from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. I got it last year. So I'm going to layer a couple of these, but as I go with the glue, I'm just going to kind of scrunch it up, and I'm going to use my little... I found this little spatula 
which works great with hot glue um, at Target in the kitchen utensil aisle and I do like using that alongside with my little finger protector which you can find a set of two at Joann's in other places so we're just gonna put a strip of hot glue a little at a time and just put it down and at the same time I'm gonna do that so it's down see just slide it over and you get a little bit of a ruffle um, if you really want you can always do a straight stitch and then pull your strings and then get it that way but I don't do any stitching I don't sew I do have a sewing machine but I use that rarely <laughs> so this is just as good and put enough glue so that it stays hot long enough for you to do this because you want to be able to move it and you're also scooting the glue over so we'll get that later oh this part's still Okay, so I'm just going to lift that up so I can re-glue there. <clears throat> Let's glue this over. So I'm just going to keep going. Okay, glue strings are everywhere. I'm going to do a little less. Oh, this glue gun doesn't want to stand up anymore. And it might scoot over a little bit. So I'm trying to get it straight. You get the idea. <clears throat> Let me go all the way and see what happens. <laughs> and it's okay if it kind of goes wonky. It kind of gives that that extra look if it's not perfectly straight. <clears throat> okay let's finish it off there make sure that's down and then we're going to cut that off all right <clears throat> so that looks pretty cool and you don't have to do two layers but i got a little bit of hot glue here there you go. Um, another thing you could do is snip and then have a little more fray, but I kind of just like this. But I do want to use this bat <coughs> webbing on top. But um, <coughs> what I'm going to do is once I get it on, I'm going to just fluff it so you can see both colors. I just didn't like the look of just this against here because it was just too. And, and I'm probably going to go a little. I don't know, maybe I should trim this down. I just don't know how much I need. Hmm. I feel like it's... Is it the same width? It is. Okay, well. Let's just get it on. <clears throat> Now I'm not sure if it's going to work the same way because now I have something that's not as flat as this. So I think I'm going to have to do this with my finger because it's not flat surface. And I'm going to get it on my nails. Yeah, I don't think this... I'm going to have to do it with my bare fingers <laughs> or my nails. I think what I'll do is I'll trim it down once it's on. It's a little harder when there's already a rough surface on the bottom. And then I'm going to add one more piece right in the middle. Okay, just be careful if you're doing it this way. <clears throat> I 
Almost there. Okay, so since they're about, they are pretty much the same width, I'm just going to come in with my scissors and trim it a little bit down so you can see the orange. <clears throat> I can get it in there. Let me do this. Let me lift it up. Because I want to cooperate. There. Okay, so now we see that border. Probably would want to trim this before you do this but I didn't know how much I needed so I just did it after I just didn't know how thin I would want to make it but now you can see the two colors and then we're going to add something right in the middle <clears throat> so you know you can fluff it up a little bit see how it looks which I like it and now something in the middle. So what do I have? Do I have anything out? Um, <laughs> let me pause for a second. Okay, so I was trying to find something thin enough to go through here. And um, I wanted to touch, uh, add a touch of purple. I don't really have the dark purple. Um, except for some ribbon. But I think I'm going to add this one here. And it's thin enough where you can still see. So we're going to add that. <clears throat> And I brought some more trims out so that I could see about decorating the rest. So let's just get this down. I'm mainly using this because I don't want to get glue on my nails. Normally I could do this with my fingers, but these nails are so long. Usually I don't use nails this long. Even though they say medium, they feel like really long to me. I always like to put on my nails when I'm on vacation. Because I feel like I don't have to go to work. Where I have to constantly wash my hands. Oops. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. This thing here is right there a little camera holder okay. all right so I'm actually getting glue strings all over the the holder Okay, so put a little bit of glue over here so it doesn't keep fraying like it just did. I'm going to trim that as soon as it dries. Okay, I don't understand why my glue gun doesn't want to stand up anymore. Alright, so we got that. I'll put this aside for now. And then I also even took out some chain, black chain from Hobby Lobby that I've had for quite some time now. Okay, this should be dry, I think. 
Oh, maybe not. It's not dry yet, so I'm going to use this. Because these are non-stick. Alright, for now I'm going to put, leave this, but I probably will add more to it um, later, once I finish trimming off everything. And you know, I really like this stuff here. So let me see where I could use it. I have a very small black trim supply because I don't really use it much. I'm more shabby chic, so yeah. Do we want to put it here or on the back? Kind of like it there. put it on the back and then I'll trim that as well now this is very sheer so definitely use something let's see if I could use this piece of trim that I have no idea where I got from but it is really pretty and I'm not sure where to use it I'm afraid to cover up this pattern too much so let's just cover this piece up back here and as you can see it's um, it does kind of it has a trim in the middle Actually, I'm going to start with this side because this is a bad side. And then I'll cut that off. Right. So that finishes that up. Okay. All right, so we got that. And then, where did my pin go? I'm pretty sure, oh, here it is. I knew I had a pin on here. Wondering if this one, because there's plenty of it. I don't even know where this one came from. Probably Hobby Lobby also. It's kind of a wavy look. Let's see how this looks on my... Um, let me bring my little stick pin holder here. Because it's hard to grab stick pins with nails. So I was thinking... To do... I don't know if I want to go this way. No. Okay, so we are going to line the inside. Well, the outside here. I think that'll look nice. Let me pull this out a little more. Okay. And just start. Now I'm going to kind of just fold this little point here just so it stays down. And glue that little piece first. So now I'm going to see even less of that green that I don't like so much. <laughs> I'm getting it on there because this is wavy actually I'll just put it on the paper instead so I know it's on there not on 
off and then we're gonna turn and go in and turn this little corner here and then go in tight current turn there and I'm just going to keep going all the way around I'm actually going to go all the way around this so it's actually going to be on this thing here And then I'm going to, as I glue this in here, I'm going to make sure it's pinched in so that it still kind of folds a little bit. It's not going to fold too much because now there's going to be something in the way. But I'm going to push it in there into the fold so that it still will do that. Okay. So it's in there. I'm just going to keep going all the way around till I get to the other side. I got glue everywhere. But look at how pretty that looks already. Okay. Really nice. All right. Let's just keep going. Ooh, hot. Well, I'm still managing to get the glue all over me. Again, I'm just pushing it into the little folds, make sure that it's still going to function. I'm getting glue everywhere. And I hope this doesn't turn around on me. Great, I just pulled it off. kind of, you know, hard to to hang on to everything. Make sure it still functions. All right, we're almost there. almost there. What I'm going to do is trim off the extra right now because it's getting close. I think the, the post, not the post office, the uh, Sunday paper just got here. It's, it's Sunday. It's early. Um, I did wake up at, what time did I wake up? Somewhere around 4 a.m. today. My husband was already up getting ready for work, and my cat, of course, was meowing, so I just got up. And I'm still on vacation, so that kind of sucks. I've just been taking naps during the day. <laughs> so I'm not so tired.
Okay, that looks really pretty. And there we go. All right, so let's take a look. So now what I'm gonna do is make sure that this is turned. That really looks pretty, it's like a witch's collar, a pretty witch. And now we're gonna add more stuff. Let's um, take a look at what we have. Since I've got lavender, I pulled out these stems. I only have these two stems. Again, I don't have a good amount of like orange and purple and black. I only keep a very small number of this stuff because you know I don't use it. So at least I have a little something and I'm trying to open this and I'm thinking I'm going to use this one. I'm trying to get this nice. So we've got this, and this is from Hobby Lobby. It's the his and hers. And again, I only get these when they're half off. But I thought this would be pretty somewhere right there. I do have a very small collection of lilac flowers that I'm going to mix in here. And um, I did pull out black. Now, I used to have... I don't actually have black black. I've got... These are more on the gray side, but this has black and white. These are from Michaels, and then these are from Spare Parts. I don't know if I'll be using the tiny ones, but I'm going to keep them handy. I want to put something here. So I think that's fine. Maybe I'll put one of my bows that I made. Hmm... I have a feeling that it will just get squashed with the stuff I'm going to put. So I might just do like a bling, a piece of bling in there or a flower. Let's look at the bling. She could be an elegant. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. It just makes it look elegant. Let's just add that. I have a couple of these. Oh my gosh, and I did it again. Sorry. I'm just going to put a lot because this is metal, but it should stick pretty well to that trim. I think I got glue back there when I put this down. Yep. this okay when you get it where you don't want it just put some hot glue and it'll melt it down and you can remove it okay make sure it's all out Oh, right. So that is nice. Okay, so because I have a little, you know, it's not perfect there. I'm going to put that there. And I think I'm going to leave it as a whole instead of cutting it up. Something like so. So let's get that down temporarily because it's not going to stick too good with all this. It's not completely flat, so 
when I put my flowers on top, that'll help it hold. I don't want to go too much off the side because when I wrap this up to package and ship out, everything's going to get kind of smushed in anyway. So, whoops, that was my glue gun. I don't know what's wrong with this glue gun. doesn't want to stay up. Okay, let me just do this. All right, so let's bring in the flowers. I had bigger ones so I could use but that's okay just make a cluster of small ones I don't think I'm gonna use all four but we just have that already so like this one that's already open and we're just gonna mix in I'm gonna add this color too Something like that. Okay, let's start with that. I'll get another glue stick ready. <clears throat> I like the lighter one up here. Cover the the wire. other goodies can I add to this? I don't want to put too many flowers again. I don't want to completely cover. So far I like how it looks. So we're going to um, add something else. I'll be right back. Alright, so I pulled out my other container of goodies and um, this is from Walmart. All these are from Walmart, but I had some from last year still, so I'm going to pull those out. So this is the ones that I didn't, I don't think I got these this year. I think it was from last year. So let me just grab this and see. I wanted to put something spooky in here, but not too childish, not too cartoony. So I wanted to check this out. Like, I might have to I put this down first. Yeah, let's see. Do I like that there? Or should I just put a bat? Ooh, I like the bat coming out right there. Okay, we'll do that. I really like that. And these are almost plasticky, but I think they're cardstock or something. I don't know. Maybe because of the. Um, I'm hoping it's going to stick. Let's get it in here too, just in case. Let's 
still want to use this somewhere. I think I'll put it back here just for decor. Okay. Let me throw this back in for now. But look at that. That's so cool. So last year I only found those other ones and these. But I didn't know that they had these in gold. So this year I bought two of those in gold. Whoops, I need this one. And one in silver, just so I could share. Okay. So, let's put that out. I think that's on there. Let's put this here. Oh, I just hit my finger. That was not smart. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go back to my stickers I came with this paper collection. Because I think I could just put a sticker down here somewhere. Um, something kind of small. Like maybe one of these things. Things that go bump in the night. Our favorite holiday, My Little Monsters, All Hallows Eve, Very Bewitching. I kind of like those things that go bump in the night. Here or here. I need to put it over here. Okay. Things that go pop in the night. Alrighty. And on the back, I also feel like, oh, there's a lot of, yeah, that's cute like that. That's like signs. How about some of these little little flowers here that I didn't use. I pull a few out just to kind of tuck in and bring some of that shine. So I'm going to go like this and cup it so it's not so flat and then do that. I'm just grabbing the uh, glittery ones. Just a couple, I think. This one can go on this side. This gun. I don't know, something must have happened to this thing that doesn't want to stay right. I'm going to end up burning myself again. Are there any glittery smaller ones? There are. Here's a little one. Okay, the bling just moved and it's gone. Will I be able to get it back on? Probably not. There we go. Okay. Well, I was trying to get it to be more dimensional, but it's kind of flat. I think that's good. Alright, so as far as decoration on here, oh, one more thing I wanted to do is I'm going to fold this, well, not really fold it, but just um, put some hot glue down here so these things stay down. I think I put too far off. Yep, I did. Too far on the corner. I didn't need to go that far out. Okay, I'm not going to put it right on the corner this time. Looks like I got to use my camera holder to hold everything. Did 
do it again. All right, I think we're good. Now that's down. It's like a elegant, spooky, Halloween loaded pocket. Don't be nosy. Uh-uh. Get your head out of the trash. That's my cat. Oh, this came right off. to that one. Okay, back to this. So I think that's good. Now we're just going to make stuff to fill this and then I'm just going to add extra goodies. I love that. Anyway, the battery is dying. So, all right. So stay tuned for the next part of this episode series where we're going to make some things, the usual, some wands and stuff. And I'm going to probably make a few more of these and package them. Alright, so thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.